Nice. Oh, I gotta turn this off. I'm hearing myself. Oops. So wait a second. Okay, I'm not sure if this is getting an echo sound or not. Uh, we'll wait for the chat to come uh, to give us some feedback. feels like uh, I might be getting an echo oh no I'm not oh because I reloaded the page so that should be fine Oof. interesting interesting trying a new setup and by the way gang this is Chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today is March 29th 2020 and we're gonna do a comic book reading and we're gonna do it live okay we've done one of these before but we also recorded it so I never really I think I uploaded the live stream version on BitChute, but I never uploaded a live stream version on YouTube and we were recording it so we'll see how the camera handles uh, the uh, the focusing part I tried it a little earlier today and uh, it was sort of getting blurry and stuff so we'll see how it goes I might need an upgrade to the camera so the camera can focus up close when we bring things up without constantly trying to focus on it right it becomes a little difficult but uh, as soon as we can get the setup sorted out and we'll do this test run to see how it works out uh, might do a upgrade uh, to the system well I've been trying to do an upgrade to the system for a while but uh, might do the higher end the buy for the cameras and uh, hopefully deal with that iron smash hey chicho have you ever played the batman arcane game uh varied like a few minutes and it looked beautiful by the way amazing look into the batman universe yeah yeah and i've seen some uh, videos on it um online and it's what batman would be right it's not like punch 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 it's sneaking around and doing a little bit detective work and avoiding conflict which is fantastic sound just cut out did it cut out oh wait that was me okay awesome try i had a little bit of issue with the sound earlier this morning trying to set everything up and by the way just so you know the mic is set up right here okay right there that's as close as i can get it without it being inside our space okay um heten hetenet what up chicho how's it going how's it going hope you guys are doing well on the sunday morning afternoon evening monday morning maybe okay uh, let me do a little intro for those of uh, people that are going to be watching this video after it's been loaded on uh, to another platform right now being BitChute on YouTube right if you want to know what it is that I'm up to where you can find information about what it is that I'm doing and whatnot uh, and for those of you watching live of course as well right uh, patreon is where I'm loading everything on and sharing information and giving people the stream uh schedule and whatnot spider-man how you doing hey chicho so sorry i'm late oh, you're doing well spider-man thank you very much so patreon is a great uh place to keep up to date as to what we're up to okay and if you want to support this project if you can afford to support this project and whatnot you can definitely one of the best ways to support this project is through patreon and you don't have to uh, support this project to be able to follow our post on patreon I don't make anything private everything's public okay so I do share as much as I can okay as often as I can and we are live streaming this on twitch so if you want to catch these live streams twitch is where you want to be at okay and I do announce these streams 30 minutes before we go live and everything else that we're uploading to Twitter gap mines vk and lo and all the links will be in the description of this video okay and for now right now we're uploading all of our uh everything we do on bitchute and almost everything we do on youtube okay and pretty soon you're gonna have a on youtube there will be a little join button as as uh, as soon as youtube approves the little change i made um so you can also support this product project by joining YouTube uh, membership okay and we are in times of pandemics so 
name of the game is flattening the curve flattening the curve don't overwhelm your healthcare systems um, that way everyone that needs to be taken care of will be taken care of okay aside from that hello chat and if you're going to be watching this on another platform we are doing a comic book reading and we're gonna get the chat on twitch to decide which one of these we're going to look at which one we're going to read and i will have the start of the reading most likely in the description of the video or right below oh our sound is doing a little wackoness uh, most likely in the description of the video okay and most likely in the title of the video when the comic book reading starts after we do a little salutations talk to people and talk about what i have lined up here uh, that we can read okay let me take these down and uh, see how everybody's doing on chat hello hello are these comics from the golden age uh, we have atomic age is from the golden age uh, this one not dinosaurs is from the 60s so i can give you the dates okay actually what we can do is what we can do is wait until another few minutes and then i'll run you through what these books are right but this one the atomic age is from the golden age the atomic age is 1952 i believe i have all my notes here for them right so i'll take a look at the uh notes as we go through them hey chichonians hello martin how are you doing and the reason we're having a little hiccup a little delay with youtube authorizing our join membership is because i changed the name from chichonians to chichonians <laughs> i had to confirm the spelling all right good morning chicho reno mike how are you doing hope you guys are doing well i hope the sound uh doesn't do more hiccups there was a little hiccup action going on uh, and hopefully the this camera will be able to zoom this is one of the true believers this is what i was doing a test on but none of these are glossy that we're going to read so um i think it's going to come out better i did a test run on this as well okay uh, i've been looking forward to reading these and this is the price guide from the 1960s felix how are you doing nikki nikki how is life nikki hickey how is life and this is our price tag uh, that uh, price guide that we bought uh, on a recent comic book haul from the 1960s right Zare, how's life brother how's Callie doing Callie in lockdown that's gonna be crazy man the older paper adds so much to the uh, yeah dragons I love I don't like the glossy like I still love the comics but I rather things be on the newsprint that way you don't get the glare uh, and it's comic books i don't i don't need my comic books to be grade 10 in my collection i i just don't need it i, I like reading the books i like handling the books right um, nicer the better of course but the extra cost for glossy adding glossy to the to the comic books is putting a lot of people out of the game for buying comic books because the price tag goes up it's ridiculous right that's why uh, i've been buying a lot of altera comic books actually i buy everything altera comic books if i can get my hands on it right so my comics comic shop where i have my pull list and they're closed now until the lockdown's over right or a suggested physical distancing is over but i subscribe i'm picking up uh, just so you know i'm picking up everything valiant and everything alter altera comic books because their comic books are 99 cents dollar 50 they're printed on newsprint and they're good stories great art what's the issue right it's fantastic rob rayfield art even holds up <laughs> rob dragons <laughs> you don't even notice the feet <laughs> and the pouches look so cool <laughs> funny my whole country went into lockdown for three weeks which sucks but is necessary to flatten the curve F felix i agree which country by the way felix and what felix is mentioning is this thing right here you want to flatten the curve you want to flatten the curve do not overwhelm your health care uh, system the workers uh, they are family friends relatives 
right? People would care about. Yeah, a basic story arc these days is like fifty dollars, just not worth it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's very expensive, right? It is interesting to get comics of various countries for sure. I wish I read multiple languages. That way, I could read multiple comics from different language, different countries, right? I'm so excited for the stream. Just let me know, Chicho. I'm doing some work right now, so I'll be here listening, lurking. Awesome, Spider-Man. You have such fantastic, dude. Th th by the way, uh, this one we picked up. All of these books we picked up in comic book halls, except for this one. And this one, our love story number sixteen, came with these love comics. Okay. And it was a care package here i'll show it here so you guys see it it was a care package that someone sent our way that they went into um, sort of an antique place and saw these books and they went okay chicho would appreciate these books so he he sent them to us so huge thank you to brian for sending these books uh our way right and we did a comic book haul when we got the package we didn't know what was in it so it was an amazing surprise uh opening these right and uh, these two were in the same comic book hall and actually these two were in the same comic book hall and then this one was a different comic book hall and we've done comic book hall videos for all of these okay uh, they're limited stocks now in shopping cart yeah for sure Martin uh, I live in the UK okay you're UK now so you're three weeks as well as lock down my uh, GC SEs basically our final oh the final exams in compulsory education have been cancelled awesome that's fantastic they should have done that a while ago right they should have just announced that look students don't worry about it uh, we'll sort things out after the storm passes over those are fantastic 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 and huge thank you and we bought uh, I believe these two or these two was comic book hall uh, the funds huge part of the funds were sent to us through by Nicholas right so he funded these ones as well plastic surgeons aren't too happy about <laughs> this flattened trend <laughs> funny always be making hello how are you doing welcome welcome Chicho when is the next stream on COVID-19 I'm going to work in the ICU starting tomorrow night I want to be sure I don't miss the stream so I can share my experience oh wow um, we're doing it uh, April 1st okay April 1st at 8 30 p.m. my time PDT West Coast uh, Canada uh, United States okay hello Chicho boop, boop. <laughs> hello Eduardo how are you doing oh man good luck yeah seriously Nate uh, take care be careful okay if your supervisors or the centralized government tells you to work without protection i realize people need taken care of but that is uh something that is unacceptable you do not send people to war without protection right um, and after the storm blows over i think we're gonna see a serious uh, because before the storm came in there were mass protests all over the world I think we're about to see those amplified after the storm blows over oh man good luck lots of discussion about COVID-19 and the discord if you want to share as well yeah for sure that's the that's one thing as well Nate our COVID-19 folder on our discord page is very active I've been sharing a fair bit of info there's discussion going around uh, some of us are disagreeing some of us agreeing which is fantastic you need to have the dialogue open right uh, because of the cancellation of my exams and the closure of schools I have six months off of school before I go to college which is great oh, nice Felix I hope you're gonna continue to educate yourself brother okay you need to continue to uh, to stay up to date to things okay thanks I'm in Amsterdam so I'll figure the time out I'm a med student graduating to a doctor next year 
cool. Protective equipment should be good. Okay, awesome, Nate. And I know in the United States, I'm pretty sure it's the U.S., where they gave early graduation to the doctors at one of the medical facilities so they could go into the workforce right away. Okay. I've got some cool books to donate. Once this is all blows over and we don't overwhelm this. Yeah, for sure, Spider-Man. Thank you uh, for the consideration. We'll do readings on them for sure if we get them. Will I include some Spider-Man book? Maybe. <laughs> Fun. By the way, when we're doing the reading, I'm going to turn off chat and I'm going to turn off notifications. So if there's people subscribing, following and stuff like that, thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Um, but once we start the reading, I'm going to strictly focus on reading the comic books, right? I don't want to take, take away from that experience. I'm going to try to make sure that the camera will be able to focus on things and whatnot but again we might need an upgrade to the system um, for us to do these live more frequently which is will be amazing to do just imagine if we did live comic book readings once a week or something it'd be awesome <laughs> right it'd be fantastic i'm quitting caffeine cold turkey for the quarantine last comic last stream felt like a fe uh, fever dream i had to rewatch it really so you were having caffeine withdrawals dragon thanks i remember that okay nate that's awesome yeah quitting any addiction is an amazing thing right but it could be hard on the body and the mind and the soul and the and your sanity i'm definitely going to continue education i'm planning to study biology maths and econ economics at college awesome well great uh, a triple combination by the way yeah i was dipping in and out usually uh down six to seven cups a day whoa not great dragons that's crazy that's a lot of caffeine man i know if, uh, like for me i keep my caffeine within reason right uh because i love the flavor and i'm like you i could i could drink a lot of coffee in one day if allowed and i usually sweeten it uh, so i maintain my addiction i don't i don't go ballistic on it i can't do i can't do that the body it's not good for it's not good for you right i meant awesome quitting the caffeine sorry to hear you had a hard time you got this i got this friend i do a pot a day you do a pot a day Reno? my oh my god oof i well i shouldn't speak i do a pot of tea a day but my tea is i'm not boiling the tea leaves and i mix it up with ginger mint and different types of herbs and stuff so uh it's not as sharp of a kick my cider detox failed <laughs> you went 10 days i think martin 10 days is pretty good brother like seriously i don't believe in uh well some people can do they can quit boom instant right uh weaning off is, is not a bad thing 14 days 14 days brother oh that's huge that's huge uh full respect right i haven't had a drink since they shut down the bars in new york city nice dragon that's good isn't it little twitchy maybe <laughs> oh, but that's antsy are you pacing around are you like oh, agitated and stuff but but I have been drinking it for 15 years. Yeah, Martin. Really, you do not want to drink every day. You need to um, take care of your liver and your kidneys. Okay. Just being around uh, the healthcare system, people working in the healthcare system. Uh, I've heard some horror stories about kidney failure. Be careful. Take care of your kidneys, right? stock off on okay you should feel no rebound effects from quitting caffeine <laughs> wow the first time i'm uh, i'm able to catch a chicho live stream nice uh nino's bro nino's bro welcome to our live stream it's an experiment we're doing a live comic book reading right we'll see how it goes the camera not might not hold up but uh, the focusing might be a little off and for some reason how's the sound gang is the sound okay uh thanks to social distancing uh 
I have no one to flip out on. <laughs> I, just, I watched our, your liqueur videos and I really enjoyed them. Is it about time to uh, check in again? Check in on the liqueurs? Uh, as soon as I can get my hands on some fruit to, and go to the liquor store and get some, uh, some more vodka, we'll do a refresh. But it's going to be a few weeks. In Chicho, we try <laughs> Uh, not for me, but I was reading an article about people panic buying. Oh, yeah, I bet, right? I'm just glad I got a hold of some cannabis before uh, our lockdown. Yeah, you need to have a supply, right? Had an, had an uncle who had to be in uh, dial dialysis near the end of his life due to kidney failure. Not a fun, not a fun experience. Spectral shot, yeah. I unfortunately I have a friend going through this experience right now and he's not that old right and uh, I consider him to be a brother uh, we hung around a long time I learned pool from him uh, we spent many 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 uh, many many years together okay it's good sound is tight sound is tight awesome okay uh, Good evening, everyone. Scarlet Phoenix, how are you doing? Yeah, any drug really. There were huge lines outside of coffee shops and all of them after they announced they would close. <laughs> is micro in whisper mode? Uh, is the mic in whisper mode? I, I don't know if I can set it. Uh, I don't know what that means, uh, Martin. Should I give you a lowdown of where, what we got here lined up? Let me give you a lowdown of what we got lined up here. Okay. Now, this book here. Okay. I'm going to read you what these are. I, or Our Love Story. Okay. And I would usually do this during the reading and stuff, but uh, I'll... Uh, what do you call it we'll just do this and then when we start the reading we're just going to read it the price guide looks yeah the price guide looks phenomenal right i really wanted this i bid really high on this right and we got it for like 12 dollars or something like this i mentioned in the live stream so this one our love story is a gift package that was sent to us by brian bp okay i don't know if brian's here um he will most likely because he's, he loves our comic book streams and stuff like this so he went into like an antique uh, so i'll read you what he sent me in an email quote i found the uh, those in an antique mall i go to often once i saw them i had to get them right and he sent them our way okay and there is a whole bunch of these oops let me show you this there's a whole bunch of these and they have the David Cassidy pinups in them so this one teenage love okay the time for love so that's teenage love number 88 this is time for love number 30 and here's the uh, here's a David Cassidy pinup on this one right and they're intact they're in there okay this one is time for love number 28 we have young love number 91 and we have young love number 93 you should get those graded they're fantastic they're pretty good they're they're high mid grade okay so they would grade anywhere between 7 to 8.5 or so okay but from all of the all of these I decided to wanted to read this one okay and I didn't know who you know uh, who the artist for this was until I looked it up until I went okay I really want to read this one because I think the cover is absolutely beautiful I love this cover what a phenomenal cover right that, those look lovely cheesy amazing and check out check out who 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 did this right check this out let me read this to you okay Stanley and Holly uh, Rez Rezikoff is the story, right? So Stanley wrote the story. Art is by John Boshima and Alan Weiss, okay? And John Boshima 
and Joe Sinnott did the cover. Like these are all legends, right? Oop. <laughs> no, I'm watching the screen, making sure I'm staying in focus, right? So fantastic. So we can read this if you guys want. I'm giving you guys all the choice, right? Uh, as to what we're gonna read. So keep this in mind. If you wanna read this, we can read this. Let me show you the other guys. Oop, let me put this over here. This one. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Uh, all this use of love. Thank you very much. Uh, comics, comics, star dream for this following. All of, all of this use of love is making me want to hug, but I don't have it, Daddy. Oh no, how much did those cost? These were a gift. These were gifted to me, sent to me by someone that uh, Brian, uh, that uh, he loves our comic book readings and comic book hauls and comic book discussions and whatnot. So he found these in an antique store and bought them up and sent them our way. So I'm not sure how much they cost. Uh, a lot of love. They cost a lot of love. This one, Alarming Tales, okay, number six. This is the last issue of the series, okay. Voting lovely story preemptively, <laughs> Nate, <laughs> nice. Now this is by, here, let me grab the info instead of going by memory, okay. Oop, let me put this guy here. Actually, let me put this guy here. Uh, this one, this one, Alarming Tales. Come over here, Alarming Tales. Alarming Tales. Now, this book is, is amazing. I showed this to you guys in the comic book hall. And the reason that it's a key book, really, it's a key book, because it's got the Ant-Man prototype in here. Okay. Now, the people that worked on this, this is Harvey Publications, Thrill Avenue. Okay. It came out, oh yeah, the, the love one came out in uh, 1969. So this one's 1969. This one, Alarming Tales number six, okay, is from 1958, published in 1958. The cover is John Severn, okay, and the inks is John Severn. And John Severn is huge, EC Comics, think EC Comics, right? Just one of the one of the greats same level as jack kirby right so uh harvey publications okay the art is ray bailey fred kidda paul reeman al williamson angelo torres and al williamson is the one that did the uh, ant-man prototype story in this okay and during the comic book haul that we had i i had to open it up i opened it up and we Took a look at some of the pages. Okay, I had flying saucers already in 1950. Exactly. And that's another key point of this. It's a flying saucer uh, cover. So that makes it collectible. It's an ant map prototype. That makes it usually collectible. And uh, John Severn cover, a Hal Williamson story. Like, seriously. Uh, amazing. Amazing. Right? So we can read this one as well. Let me show you this one. Four color, four color. Oh yeah, how much did we pick? This one cost me, did I make a note here? Oh, I did make a note here. Let me show you, let me tell you how much this one cost me. This one cost me 637 US, 850 Canadian, which is an amazing deal and is graded good, very good. Okay. This one, Dino <laughs> Dinosaurus. Now this one is, let me read you these things. This one is 1960, published 1960. Uh, it's Dell four color, number 1120, uh, 1120. Okay, it's a, based on a movie, uh, a movie that came out during that period, right? And it's got a photo cover of the cast on the inside back page, I believe. Okay, trust me, I am. Aramaic, Aramaic, America. Uh, thank you for the follow, right? And uh, the da, 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 uh, the people who came up with the story is Eric uh, Freeward and Robert Schaefer, and the art is by Jesse Marsh. Okay, so if you love dinosaurs, this is this is the one to go with, right? 
Dinosaurs? Dinosaurs, anyone? <laughs> Look at that. Ah, dinosaurs. Ah. Oh, the dinosaurs are attacking. All right? Check this one out. The atomic age. The atomic age. Can't go wrong with can't go wrong with dinosaurs. Can't go wrong with dinosaurs. Oh yeah, for the this one cost me 25 cents Canadian. Okay. 25 cents Canadian. I'm pretty sure anyway. How much did it cost me? Let me find a proper paper on it. Uh, yeah, talk cost me 25 cents Canadian, 19 cents US. Looks like an American Godzilla knockoff, possibly, possibly. But it probably came out before American Godzilla, right? So a Japanese Godzilla knockoff, maybe. Or American Godzilla was a knockoff of this, right? Check this one out. Check this one out. Let me tell you how much this one cost me. This one I really wanted, right? This one is Atomic Age Combat number one. Okay, cost nine thirty-seven U.S. twelve fifty Canadian. Okay, Saint John's publication, which is hugely collectible. Uh, Jack Kirby. Uh, it could possibly be Jack Kirby inking, possibly. Okay, but the art is by Dick Ayers, and Dick Ayers is huge, right? Dick Ayers is gigantic. The, one of the covers we did for mermaid publications is the cares right and uh da, 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 da. and there's a few different stories in this one right like the the atomic comics from that period they cost a fair bit uh a fair bit of uh coin okay uh da, 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 chicho i hope you're well doing well dolphin thank you very much atomic age combat 22 page one shot of, of uh, staring at a button before pushing the button <laughs> hey first stream to ever catch hope you are doing well in these restricted times love you con awesome trust me i am in america uh, i am america thank you very much for the follow welcome to our live stream and this one we picked up i believe in the last comic book haul and i wrote all the stuff down here graded at uh, oh yeah atomic age uh, oh i forget what is graded that's pretty low grade i would say good good plus right uh and the dinosaurus was probably good good plus as well chicho once it's okay to send some books to you could you lend uh let me know once all the craziness for sure spider-man for sure spider-man uh for sure and we'll definitely do readings you got to tell me which one to you know what you want read right this one check this out i've never seen this offered right and grand book center 659 grand street brooklyn new york right and it's graded at fine right so 6.0 comics for collectors number two comic price list guide from 1966 to 1970 and this is one of the comic book hannah how you doing um this is a person that owns a comic book store in my town that I bought this from. He teaches a comic book uh, class course at a college, right? And he knows his history inside out. And the best he could do is narrow this down to from 1966 to 1970. 40 pages um, plus two extra pages of uh, mail ordering. So it has the pages in there as well. Okay. And... Uh, I looked at some of the because he had he took some pictures of the inside right and when I got it I looked at a couple of pages you should see the prices of Amazing Spider-Man what they were going for the early issues and stuff and you could order it because this is a this isn't a price guide this is an ordering catalog so these guys had those comics in stock just imagine going back in time and ordering everything these guys had wow wow a grading tutorial with video would be so awesome I, I, spider-man once i learn the lingo of the grading will do one for me i just grade it according to what i think something is right sometimes i'm way off sometimes i'm bang on so far over the last few years i've been okay with uh the grading i've done on comics for my own personal collection so gang 
what do you want to read okay and we'll do our best and keep in mind this is an experiment with this camera hopefully I can get it focused so it's not blurry for you guys to read okay so we'll see how it goes um, but if it doesn't uh, it doesn't focus well enough where it's too blurry we'll continue reading but we'll keep this in mind and once I do an upgrade get a better camera system we'll probably do comic book readings on a live on a more regular basis okay so they have some amazing grading books too like how to yeah for sure and there's amazing resources online for it and videos as well I want to read them all yeah me too our love story our love story so much more. so we got two two for our love story okay we'll let some uh, people either second or third that our love story we got three our love story is that it is that what we're going with gang our love story Stan Lee written right John Boshima art I'm down with John uh, with Boshima yeah second oh, pff, love story it is love story it is and by the way we will at some point do readings for all of these right so for sure we're gonna do readings for all of these now what I'm going to do is turn off actually let me put these guys here so what what I'm going to do I'm going to turn off this camera here because I have my computer set up here right we're recording through this guy right I got a mic set up here okay I'm gonna turn off the chat that's here and I'm gonna turn off uh, where are we going notif <laughs> notifications that appear here okay because I just want the comic book reading to be the comic book reading okay wish the dinosaurs were in there love me some dinosaurs <laughs> yeah. I know I can't I got it for 25 cents dinosaur comic book amazing dinosaurs we will do it at some point uh, trust me uh, trust me trust me we will do it at some point uh, for sure I want to read the dinosaur book right I love I love dinosaurs like just just the whole thing about dinosaurs it's crazy exciting to me right should we do I'm turning off the notifications turning off the chat on the video and uh, what we'll do is uh, turn off my camera as well gang and I'm gonna have the chat going here but I'm gonna try not to look at the screen when I'm doing the reading because I I'll get distracted and just to let you know gang I said this during my first live first video we put out for comic books I mentioned that I'm a not uh, I'm not a good reader right in school I would if we had to read out loud I would shake like it, it's one of the biggest obstacles I've had in my life and I never thought that I would ever do recorded readings of things let alone live stream readings of things right and for me it 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 has been amazing to break through that barrier and realize that you just do the best you can with the abilities you have you practice and slowly over time you get better and you get better and you get better right so please if you're if there's something that scares you something that you want to do that scares you maybe learning mathematics history reading or whatever it is don't be afraid to take that step and do it because you shouldn't really give a rat's ass what other people think and as Martin says fear is the mind killer eliminate all your fears X how are you doing I teach a hope was James David Sutton welcome welcome Connor Higgs that's so great well done uh, I just have to break it like after reading Dune Dune is an enlightening book it's one of the greatest books ever written read it it will empower you right fear is the mind killer King Lurky how are you doing welcome 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 so how far are we into this oh we're about 40 minutes into this right let's do a reading I'm gonna turn off chat gang I'm gonna try not to look at the chat okay and let me go up here let's turn this guy off I'm gonna turn off notifications and we have 
the thing going. So I'm going to do a quick, um, where's my notes for this? I'm going to do a quick uh, intro to this, but I won't go into the details of everything. And the odds are we're just going to read this thing right off the bat. And uh, boop. <laughs> we're going to read this thing right off the bat. Uh, so we're not going to flip through it. We're just going to start reading. Um, and we're going to read until I can't read anymore. And then if we haven't finished it, we'll, uh, uh, I will slow chat down as well. Awesome, Martin. Thank you. Uh, but we will get to the end and see the back and whatnot as well. The fine print, I'm going to read, but the camera is not going to focus on it, unfortunately. Okay. Aside from that, see you in a bit, gang. Let me turn off my this guy. Okay. So we're just to make a note for myself. We're about 40 minutes in, right? 41 minutes in. Right. So hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to a live stream because we are live streaming this on Twitch. So if you want to catch these live streams, watch uh, the Twitch stream is where you want to be at, right? And we do upload these videos on YouTube and BitChute. And if you want to follow this work, uh, Patreon is a great place to keep track of. You can just follow without, uh, you know, committing any funds. But if you do have the funds and if you do want to support this work, Patreon is a great place to be because I do announce our live stream schedule on there and I do um, uh, I do uh, announce the videos and the, and all the other things that we're doing on the back end as well aside from these videos on patreon right and you can take a look at the content there to see what this work is all about and I do announce these live streams on Twitter minds gaps VK as well as elo 30 minutes before we go live okay and i do announce any videos and different types of contents on these platforms as well right and we are loading this video on youtube and bitshoot so if you can't make the live streams youtube and bitshoot for now is where you can watch these live streams uh, most of the videos being loaded on uh, youtube and all of them being loaded on bitshoot and since we are in interesting times this is march 29th 2020 the name of the game is to flatten the curve right don't overwhelm your healthcare systems and uh, make sure the people that need to be taken care of can be taken care of care of right with the healthcare workers staying in good health okay aside from that let's do a little comic book reading and what we did was uh, we're about 40 minutes into the stream and we had a little discussion on Twitch because uh, I offered uh, five different readings that we could do today and the majority of the votes uh, or basically almost all the votes except one for the dinosaur comic was our love story number 16 okay so the Twitch chat has decided this is what we're going to read today and let me take down the patreon page and let me give you let you know who the creators of this book are this is marvel comics right and the writer for this book is stanley and holly renz renzi cough okay the artwork inside artwork is by john boshima and alan wise and the cover of this is done by John Boshima and Joe Sinat, right? These are huge. These are some of the main players, the people who created a lot of the comic books that we all love, okay? And this comic was published in April, 1972, and it was a bi-monthly series, okay? And uh, it's got a, it's an anthology. It's got a few different stories in there. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna crack it open and have a read through it. And just so you know, this was a gift package that was sent to us along with a handful of other romance comics from 
the Silver Age, Bronze Age of comics. And thank you, Brian, for sending us these comics so we could have a read through them. Okay. And this thing, we'll crack this open. I would grade this thing. I've, I've taken a look at it before. I haven't read it. I read like one or two pages just to do a test run with the camera that we have set up right now with the live stream. So hopefully the camera will be able to focus in uh, well enough for us to do the reading. If not, what I'll try to do is get my hands on a better camera system so we can do regular live stream readings on Twitch and then load these live streams on BitChute and YouTube and whatever other platform that we're going to load these on, right? These uh, uh, bags and boards were interesting. These bags came with this type of plastic uh, backboard to them, which was really neat. I've never seen this before, so it keeps it nice and solid. But I added the the cardboard acid free board as well so it can absorb uh, some of the acidity from the comic that way uh, the comics uh, don't turn brown or it takes a little bit longer for them that keeps them better preserved right so if you look at this thing this thing I would have graded at uh, an 8 8.5 seven and a half seven and a half to eight point five I would say there are creases along the spine but they're not huge let me see if i can get a little bit of uh, reflection going here uh, which is hard to do you can sort of see the reflection but the creases aren't huge right you have to get a serious reflection going and this cover is absolutely beautiful okay uh, our love story marvel comics group all new right and definitely it has a comic code approved symbol on it right 20 cent uh, it came out in april 1972 uh, as we uh, stated in this number 16 right? and look at this thing how beautiful how beautiful this would make an amazing large poster right <laughs> absolutely beautiful featuring a tale featuring a tale to tear your heart hearts heart strings my song and my sorrow right. beautiful lots of lots of uh from that era right 60s 70s i personally don't like the word hippie but there's a lot of hippie action going on right beatnik is that is that a word i don't know on the back cover do you need extra money it costs you nothing to try hundred dollars hundred dollars is yours what is this thing for selling only 100 boxes of our new safari set all occasions assortments check this out let's see if we can get this thing focused a little bit uh, you make one dollar for selling one box two dollars for two boxes ten dollars for ten boxes etc I wonder how much the boxes were going for uh, you can make a few dollars or hundreds of dollars all you need to do is uh, is call on neighbors friends <laughs> so basically Amway for these boxes and I think they're just boxes ah check this out check check this the the terminology right uh, new i don't think you'll be able to read this but it says for this box new flowers in the round in the round all occasion assortment 18 really deluxe large round round cards excitingly different right check out this one right here new lovely everyday gift wrapping assortment 14 gay colorful large sheets terrific right The safari sets stationary cool so let's take a look at this thing seriously I, I'm in love with this cover I I don't know what it is but it is beautiful look at this 
absolutely in love with this cover and the text right beautiful bubbly red lots of tears in these romance comics fantastic fantastic now because the camera is very i'm not sure if we'll be able to focus too well on this we might skip a lot of the advertisements we would have read in these comics when we're doing the recording versions of these but i do want to read the fine print here my apologies because you guys won't be able to read this because it's gonna have a hard time focusing on it but uh we've been reading all of them and we're not gonna stop now right our love story is published in ma magazine manage is public is published by magazine management company incorporated office of publications 625 madison avenue new york new york 10022 published by monthly copyright 1972 by magazine management company incorporated marvel comics group all rights reserved 625 madison avenue new york new york 10022 volume one number 16 april 1972 issue price 20 cents per copy no similarity between any of the names characters persons and or institutions in this magazine with those of any living or dead person or institution is intended and any such similarity which may exist is purely coincidental printed in the usa by world color press incorporated sparta illinois 62286 subscription rate 275 for 12 issues canada 325 4 and 450 okay and again this is uh the story is done by stan lee and the other person uh that worked on the story for this that's credited on uh, the cg cgc website is holly ren renza renza cough okay the illustration is john by john bushima and joe senat and this says john bushima and joe senat did the illustrations uh, but uh, on cgc i believe it said john bushima and alan wise and the cover is john bushima and joe senat so there's a lot of discrepancy uh, some discrepancy anyway between who worked on certain comics especially in the silver age but huge in the golden age there's a lot of comic books that we don't know uh, who some of these creators were that put those comics together right and people take a guess on who they might have been let's see if we can get this thing focused there we go so let me read this part to you first oh the focus is out He's all I've ever dreamt of, all I've ever wanted, and yet he is the boy who can't be mine. That's my boss, Bradley Gray, the man I love, with his arm around one of the glamorous writers who use him, who use him as their agent. As for the as for the drab female in the background, that's me, little Miss Ordinary better known as june wilson the no talent typist who hasn't a chance in his league oh, look at this. let's see if we can get this thing focused there we go leave it to me honey your book will be a bestseller it can't miss i know i know I know it can't darling not with you as my agent and the secretary is if only I had her talent if only I could be anything except a dime a dozen secretary she says but why why fight it he'll never notice me as as long as I've got nothing to offer she says
beautiful. Look at that. Brad, baby, I thought you, uh, you'd be having lunch with me. No can do, beautiful. But I'll see you at the, at the party we're throwing for you tonight. Every book critic in town will be there. So be sure to knock him dead, he says. What a chick. She's not only an eyeful, but she writes like a house on fire. She'll be another Jacqueline Suzanne. And since I'm here, agent, that's that suits me. And since I'm her agent, that suits me fine. Come on in, June. I've some dictation for you. He says. I might stay a little bit further away and read the text. That way, at least the images stay focused gang just so you know okay i want to give you a list of all the things i'll need for tonight's party he says i'll pay you overtime as usual if you'll stay to act as hostess of course mr gray i'd be delighted she says well it's better than nothing at least i can hear him be near him she thinks that's all i'm good for taking care of the details while he concentrates on the talented people she looks pretty sad eh? he looks like a skinny uh, uh what do you call a sneaky little guy eh? remember june be sure the talented ones get the most attention oh they're the only ones that matter the only ones I care care about yes mr. gray I know she replies oh, she's taking a bath that's why I, I've got this town by the tail because I know talent I can spot it a mile away it's made me tops as an agent it's the only thing that turns me on he says later in my tiny apartment as I got ready for the party why do I keep torturing myself why do I keep working for him She's, he's all I've ever wanted and I don't stand a chance with him I'm not a writer or an artist and that's all he cares about she says that's a nice bubble bath oh look at the hip crowd finally the world famous guests assembled at the home of the boy i loved i hear bradley gray has found another prize-winning writer she's saying how does he do it she says that's what makes him the number one agent in town look at all these posh people and smoking indoors look at that <laughs> what a beautiful 70s decor of a living room look at that look at the wall rock wall you got a bookcase there as for me I played the role of hostess talking to those who seem most important Bradley's a lucky devil having a secretary like you I wish he'd speak a little louder sir <laughs> so that Bradley would hear right now she's thinking well I've done my best everybody's having a good time except for June Wilson. Continue.
continued after next page. So we're going to have an advertisement page here. Look at this. 8 millimeter projection. Picture projection. 698. Karate, judo, boxing. Will pay you $10,000 for Lincoln Penny. Oh, wow. What? For a Lincoln Penny, $10,000. That's right. How much are Lincoln pennies worth right now? Why would they pay ten thousand dollars for a Lincoln penny? And we'll pay thirty-five, uh, three hundred fifty dollars for this cent. Mint less than fifteen years old. What? No, they won't. Really? You can get three hundred dollars for this dime. Minted less than twenty-five years ago. Oh, minted less than twenty-five years ago. So they must be collectibles, right? Cool. We'll send two thousand dollars for this silver dollar minted less than 75 years ago nice anybody have coin collection let's check it out oh she's got the collar action going june you're sensational you know just how to talk to everybody, how to make us all feel comfortable. Any party would be a success with you as hostess, my dear. Oh, I'm a great little talker. All right, she thinks. What a pity it doesn't cut any ice with the boy who matters. She's infatuated with uh, Mr. Gray, eh? It was a fabulous party, Brad, dear. Natch. I had June work work out the details. Love chatting with you, lady. You young lady. Ah, this person thanking June. Bet you tell that to all the chatter boxes. <laughs> nice. Look at the froze going on. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right? awesome oh she looks so sad here look at this walking away June thanks thanks for your help June you're the best secretary a fellow ever had we aim to please boss man she says oh she's thinking now oh Brad Brad if only I could be more than a secretary to you. If only I had some talent, something that could impress you. It's getting late, June. I'll call call you a taxi, he says. Oh, she walks away very sad. She's thinking now. For one brief, wonderful, wonderful second, I thought he was going to kiss me. How could I have been such a fool? No, don't bother. I, I'd rather walk, she says. Oh, she's having passionate dreams about him. Look at this. That looks beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Why? Why wasn't I born talented? Why can't I paint or act or write or do anything, any of those things that would uh, mean something to Brad? If only I could, everything might be so different, so gloriously heavenly different, she thinks. Oh, she's crying as well. Look at that. That's beautiful, so dramatic. hot and heavy <laughs> but dreams in real life are never the same and so the next day so you want to become my agent eh this guy says yes you're a good writer I'm a good agent he says we'll be a great team of a contract for you ready to sign far away far away June is in the background thinking 
Haraway is willing to make Brad his agent, but Brad will have trouble with Haraway's wife. I can tell. Oh. Just a minute, Mr. Gray. You're not offering my husband enough money. You think so, dear? Ah, oh, Haraway. Well, it's our st standard contract. The same amount I give to every writer. Brad needs help. I'll see what I can do, June says. Or June thinks. He's got the thinking bubbles on there, right? Oh, well, she comes in with uh, beverages. How can you possibly talk business on an empty stomach? Here, how about some cookies and tea? Nice. By the way, did you know that Mr. Gray had more than 20 top writers on their contract and they all received the same amount? Oh, is that so? I wasn't aware of that, she says. Mm. Those cookies smell scrumptious. Nice. See, here's a list of Mr. Gray's clients. I recognize them all, America's top writers. Well, if he's good enough for them, haha, <laughs> sold. And so the contract was signed. Any man with a secretary like that is okay in my book, Horaway says. Glad, glad you think so, Horaway. I'd love to have tea with you again sometime, dear. Yes. I'm proud of you, lady you never let me down it's my job not to mr gray is this finally the moment i've dreamt of oh look at this they're getting so close june you know how i've always told you how i worship talent and only talent well i feel that way now more than ever oh she's thinking oh no I was wrong. He just wants to talk about Haraway, about business, she thinks. Record collection. Nice. Any 14 of these hit records for only 286. Oh, wow. If you bought these, kept them sealed, they'd be worth a lot more on 286. Oh, we're losing the thought of the story. I got a feeling a dramatic moment is coming. Oh no, I was wrong. He just wants to talk about Haraway, about business, she thinks. starts crying look at that mr. gray if you don't mind I just don't feel like talking about talent or about anything that concerns other people oh other people why you little fool I'm talking about you me she says do you think I don't know do you think I've been blind don't you realize that you are the most talent of all talented of all no no please please don't make fun of me oh look at her oh, no. fun of you june my darling there are many many kinds of talent and yours is the most god given you have the talent of knowing people knowing how to make them happy what are you trying to say she says what i've wanted to say for months but hadn't the nerve i love you june i think i've always loved you i want your talent i want your talent i want you to make me happy forever the glorious beginning the heart says look at that the glorious beginning right cool happy endings happy endings right 
Now, before we read this next story, let's take a look at the albums here. Where I was flipping through this, I could, I was looking at the albums going, oh my God, look at this. Look at that. James Taylor, Led Zeppelin, Santana, Carl King, Sly and the, Fa and the Family Stone Greatest Hits, Bob Sherman, Janis Joplin, Bob Dylan, Woodstock 2, Blood, Sweat and Tears, wow, Bobby Sherman, I don't know Bobby Sherman, The Fifth Dimensions Portrait, I don't know them, Gordon Lightfoot, cool, what are these ones up here, Carpenters, Chicago, Lee M Mitchell's Fifth, The Osmond Home, Homemade, The Osmonds, wow, Rod Stewart, look at that, Songs for Beginners, Graham Nash, Aretha, Live at Fillmore West, The Raiders, Indian Reservation. What? What is that? I don't know that one. I don't know those people. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. So much goodness here. So much goodness. 14 of these for 286. Now, probably the promise to buy. 300 for like what is this if you join now and agree to buy 10 more records during the coming two years you will have up to 300 records a month to choose from how many more records 10 more records during the next two years 10 more records still not bad how much are they going for we don't know let's go to the next story Cool. Let's read this one. As good as any man. Right. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. When it came time for action, I proved it. Proved I was as good as any man, she says. Or she doesn't say the title says. Cheer up, Laura. Your brother and I are only going camping for, for the weekend. Anyway, you know you won't enjoy it. Camping is too rough for girls, he says. Oh, my God. You think so, do you, she says. As told to... Uh, oh, here's the holly. Check this out. Here we go. This is, this is the writer. As told to Holly Renz Renzakoff. Okay. Illustrated by Alan we Wise, edited by Stanley. Cool. So this one is Alan Wise, and the story is Holly Renzikoff. This one was John Bushima artwork and Joe Senat, and the story was uh, Stanley. Okay. You think so? Do you? Huh. Why don't you give me a chance to make up my own mind, David? Hey, you really are bugged. I didn't realize. This other guy says in the background. He's got the same hair, but the different shirt. That could be the shadow effect. See, take a look. Same hair, but different shirt. Oh, here's the plaid right there. You can see it. So it's the shadow effect. Hey, you really are bugged. I didn't realize, he says. Well, okay. If you think you can handle it, there's only one way to find out, she says. And besides, who would you rather have uh, light your campfire? Ted or me? <laughs> nice. So she's going camping. Oh, nice outfit. Take a look at that. Styling, styling. We started out bright and early the next day. I was determined to prove that camping was not for men only. This is great experience, don't you think? Really builds up your leg muscles, he says. As soon as we get across the ravine, you can rest for 
a couple of minutes okay little speed little steady okay little steady don't you worry about me David she says come on slowpoke what's taking you so long wow they keep on bugging her I'm not running a race I try to appreciate the scenery she says she's not happy about it she's got a little frown on her face Oh, this guy's been a total not a nice guy ha ha yeah you standing there so long you're taking up that uh, garter snakes view of the scenery oh there's a snake right there she's freaking out don't be a wise guy David nobody likes a wise guy she says she's not happy about it that David he won't even help me pitch the tent that evening just stood there grinning oh, and he's whistling oh there's trouble coming there's trouble coming and finally he said he'd put up my tent if I'd cook up his meal if nothing else at least I should be able to make a meal he'll like I hope she thinks cooking out wasn't as easy uh, as I thought it would be David uh, soups on she comes over with the food hmm not too bad he's got a smile on his face and she's grinning mad right she's very happy about it let's see take a look at that super happy about it right fun ah oh, what do these guys say let's see if we can get this thing focused that's a beautiful panel by the way With the leaves around them look at that that's a beautiful panel right so girls are good for some things hey eh, David oh tell me about tell me about them David yeah Lord several things in fact oh tell me about them David not tell Lori show oh david <laughs> that's beautiful that's absolutely beautiful let's see get a good night's sleep lore we've got a lot of hard climbing to do tomorrow i will good night honey oh, today i was just getting it together as a hiker but tomorrow it'll be a I'll be a champ she says nice. Nice. morning sure comes early when you don't have curtains between you and the Sun but I was just as glad to get started right off because today we climb a mountain baby what do you think of that he says off they go let's see if we can get this thing focused let's try out this guy we'll see we'll see two hours later the sun had disappeared behind storm clouds and we had gotten to the rough part had enough yet of these little hills she says huh. okay lori here's where we separate the men from the women oh look at the grin on his face hey eyes front or you'll slip oh he's slipping Look 
at that. He's taking a tumble. Look at that. Oh, she's frightened. Look at that. He's fallen. David, no, David. Ah, oh, cut it out. I'm alive. Just got a broken wheel is all. Oof. That can't be good. Not at all, not at all. Not at all, not at all. <laughs> Look at him. Our only hope is the ranger station. We passed about three miles back, but you'll never make it alone in this weather. Don't worry, David. I made it up the hill. I can make it down, she says. Oh, sorry. She's going for a rescue. As I started for the station, the rain could uh, got heavier, but I ran as hard and as fast as I could. I have to make it. David's life may depend on it. This is no longer a game. I felt like I was going, going to collapse. I didn't know where I would find the strength to go on, but I looked up at the sky and thought of David sitting on that mountaintop twisted and in pain and I knew I couldn't stop until I reached help I was really worried for a while there but I know Lori will be back I might have teased her about being a woman but she's got more strength and more character than most men I know he should tell her that When I came back with the rangers, the look on David's face told me everything would be all right. Let's see if we can get the look on David's face. Nice. Dr. Livingstone, I presume. Haha. <laughs> well, hello. Fancy meeting you here. Ah, oh, they're cute together now. In fact, better than all right. How do you like my new hairstyle? I dr drown rat look. Haha. <laughs> hey really you did great but as as good as outdoors woman as you are there's still something you do better oh what kiss oh nice nice the end cute story cute story cute story pilots the girls love the pilots and the stewardesses. Check this out. Right. Who is the creators for this? Ah, check this out. Here's the creators. Here's the writer. Gary Frederick. Uh, G and the uh, story told by Gary Frederick and Jack Abel. I'm assuming Gary Frederick is the, is the writer. And Jack Abel is uh, the artist and edited by Stan Lee right which is basically almost everything <laughs> I went there right let's read this let's read this so this is a third story fun comic by the way happy comic during these times eh? fantastic fantastic I already had my uh, stewardess wings now all I needed was for Captain Brent Rogers to put wings on my heart. Ta -da. Captain who? Captain Brent Rogers. Captain Brent Rogers. Let's give you the full page look on this. Let's see what the girls say. There he goes. My big date for tonight. And I can hardly wait. Good luck, honey. You'll need it with 
Brett Rogers. I'm familiar with his reputation, but that won't stop Ginny Davis. Nice. I admire your spunk genie but that guy eats little girls hearts for breakfast thanks for the encouragement Maggie but I'm a big girl now see you later she says this rest restaurant is fabulous Brent I can't tell you how much I'm enjoying myself you don't have to genie I can see it in your eyes he says well here's my place thank you again for a beautiful evening i should be thanking you while i'm hoping we'll have a lot more evenings like this together he says oh i want us to brent more than anything then so be it let's seal the agreement with a kiss pajama bar He's just nothing like his reputation, Maggie. He's so sophisticated, so gentle, so perfect. That's what all the other starry-eyed little stews say about him, a genie. So for your sake, be careful and don't let him clip your wings. Ooh. And the teddy bear in the back. Eh? thought all night about your advice genie and I've decided you're wrong could be honey but I think you'll change your mind when you peek into the coffee shop oh he's with another girl and he, you can see I don't know if you can focus on it but he's got his arm around the girl you can see his fingers peeking out of the shoulder of the girl up there let's see if we can get this focus there we go do you see it ah look at the shock in her eyes oh no brent with another stew but how could he after yesterday oh brent oh brent oh her heart's broken let's get the whole panel on here oh maggie i feel like such a fool how could i have fallen for this smooth for his smooth lines don't blame yourself you weren't the first and you sure won't be the last so i thought about what maggie had said pulled myself together and went to flight operations only to discover hi genie must be my lucky day we'll be flying together we may be on the same plane but we won't be flying together she says <laughs> awesome that was a great line we may be on the same plane but we won't be flying together i'm wise to you romeo and your slick come on turn turns me off so suppose we just act like we don't know each other and get our jobs done she walks away Look at that 
there's a gun there's a hijacking operation okay let's read the panels beforehand uh oh serious business going on half an hour later we were airborne and my broken heart was temporarily set aside in favor of my duties fluffing pillows checking seat belts doing the coffee um, tea or milk bit it all helped me to for forget brent until pardon me miss but could i have a word with you it's very important of course sir i'll be right with you she says oh yes you will all the way to cuba cuba oh i i sir whatever you say oh look at this look at the lady in the background she's freaking out look at that ah. i never dreamed this would happen to me but now that it has what can i do she says or thinks everyone remain quiet and the young lady won't be harmed as for you miss you'll take me to the pilot immediately yes sir of course I strongly advise you gentlemen not to move or the young lady will die Ooh. do as he says Brent he means it he has a gun as we can do on that one oh, oh. you will change course immediately for Havana have to do something but what she thinks I want you oh now Brent get him she pushed into him wow. you fools I'll bring this plane down before only in your dreams fella this hijacking is over Pow, crack punches up everything's cool Brent he's out cold nice Brent your arm oh Oh, look at that they're hugging on the way it's okay just a scratch important thing is you've opened my eyes you've shown me that a woman can be more than just a plaything. much more oh Brent I hope you mean that because I want to be more than just another girl to you you will be I promise you oh he comes out all it took was a little hijacking right and I believed him I could still be wrong but after what happened I don't think the day is I don't think the day is far off when my captain will put a ring on my finger as well as as well as wings on my heart oh kids the end Oh, this is from the cover. Look at that. This is uh, this is the singing girl from the cover. Nice. We got to the the cover story, right? Cool. So let's take a look at this. I think this is the last story, and the artist for this 
Take a look at this. This is, whoop. Wow, we'll try to get it focused on there. Difficult, difficult. Written by Gary Frederick, right? And Gary Frederick's huge. Drawn by Sal Bushima and Johnny Yur Yur Yurpunten. Yurpunten. Johnny Yurpunten. I don't think I've ever I don't know that person. Sal Bushima. Nice, nice, nice. Let's take a look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Look at that. Let's read the opening. I'd never been more terrified than I than when I stepped on the stage that night, about to give my first performance in a big city. I had taken it had taken me four long hard years to get there, and now that my moment of truth was at hand, I knew I couldn't let anything, not even my heart, stand in the way of my my becoming queen of the blues my song and my sorrow nice man tiffany's really on tonight the guitarist is saying i think that's a bassist actually think of that. i think that would be the bassist so she's singing and when that no count man of mine decides to roam i'll just suck suck that southern comfort till he gets himself back home wow and when that no no count man of mine decides to roam i'll just suck that southern comfort till he gets himself back home oh that's a bad life but blues blues right she's making the most of it wow after tonight i'll be manager manager of a star but is that what i really want or would i rather she be a nobody and my wife the agent says monster ghost 17 free gifts be taller if you could grow two to six inches taller in one month would you spend 25 cents to discover how <laughs> check this out i don't know if you can see this oh there you go if you could grow two to two to six inches taller in one month would you spend 25 cents to discover how oh my god that's funny cartoon for money play guitar in seven days cool advertisements right comic books lowest prices 250,000 in stock complete Marvel and DC groups from 1935 to 1972 nice we also buy Sam who are these people giant catalog Howard M Rogoff, Rog Rogofsky. Right. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, and she's bowing. The show's over. Right. You've done it, Tiffany. You really turned them on. Just listen to that applause. Out of sight, sister. Keep bowing all night. You deserve it the band says she's really pulled it off no more one night stands and cheap hotels for us but why can't I get excited at the prospect of becoming a millionaire Bruce Bruce darling can you dick that crowd we've made it we're on top she's so happy she's so happy look at her face right nice 
darkness. I'm so happy. And it's all because of you. I can't tell you what it's what it what this means to me. Tiffany, Tiffany, if only you knew what this that kiss means to me. Hey, take it easy, baby. My lips bruise easy. Oh, I I guess I got kind of carried away, she says. I'm just so excited. Well, you know that I mean you know what I mean see you tomorrow did I kiss him out of excitement or was it because I wanted to sure baby I can dig it have fun tonight and don't forget rehearsal in the morning if she ever kisses me like that again I won't be able to hold back Whoa. Oh, she's all sad. A little bit of tears. A little bit of tears. Oh, let me get this. There we go. I've been so busy with my career, I haven't really noticed Bruce. In all these years, I've only thought of him as a manager never as a man and now with a simple kiss I can't stand the thought of going out with someone else no I mustn't let myself think that way there's no time for romance in my life only for my singing and I'll date a different man every night to keep it that way Whoa. Oh, and she is. Look at that. Look at that. There it is, Brucey boy. You stand, you stand here and eat your heart out while the chick you love sp splits with some dumb football jock. You're some manager, baby. Great with rock careers, but a complete bust at managing your own life. But I guess that's how it has to be. She's queen of the blues. And you're her rich, lonely manager. My date that night was a drag, but I knew but the news Bruce brought the next morning wow here it is honey the culmination of all your dreams this little piece of paper is a recording contract for a paltry few million oh Bruce it's fantastic I can't believe it she says well you'd better because it's true and so is this I love you Stat Tiffany and now I can say it oh look at that kiss now that we have have it made there's nothing to hold me back I want to marry you and oh, oh. no stop Bruce before it's too late I love you too but my career has to come first I know we don't have any financial worries now but there's more to it than that she says just being rich and famous isn't enough Bruce I have to be the best and the world has to recognize it I see I'm sorry I could have been cool it, it could have been cool between us oh sad He's gone. I let the man I love just walk away. But 
it will be worth it it has to be and now ladies and gentlemen the Hollywood Bowl Bowl is proud to present the newly acclaimed Queen of the Blues Miss Tiffany Tinsley listen to them Tiffany that sound is what you've given up everything for enjoy it live for it perform for it it's the only thing you have left she thinks it's no use i'm singing better than ever maybe because i feel the lyrics as i've never felt before but it's not enough not without bruce as soon as the show's over i'll get it together with him i'll get together with him but when my performance ended and after countless encores bruce i why isn't he here he always waits for me after the show wait a note it must be from him oh no he's he's left quit as my manager and gone away he didn't want to stand in the way of my career sacrifice everything to give me what i thought i wanted and now all i have is a career which will be empty without him that was all two years ago and i haven't seen bruce since but every night when i go out on the stage i'm singing to him and i pray that one night he'll hear me oh this is a sad ending oh no and this is the last story we ended with a sad ending i thought all of these marvel love romances were going to be happy <laughs> oh no oh look at this arnold schwarzenegger look at that that's arnold that's going to be arnold for sure what's he selling that's sad look at this she gave up her love she gave up her love to sing the blues to sing the blues this is like a dear abby letter column i want to read the arnold schwarzenegger advertisement check, check this out I, f I put two full inches on my arms three inches on my chest and trimmed four inches off my waist in just seven weeks thanks to the joe welder muscle building course why not wait a second this is the they're advertising this guy's book joe welder wired there do they have arnold schwarzenegger's name here oh they do says movie and tv star arnold schwarzenegger when did arnold make the conan movie the conan movie came out in 78 or something was arnold schwarzenegger in any movies in the night because this comic came out in 1972 i don't recollect arnold being in any movies in 1972 or before mr universe winner he believes you too can easily duplicate his muscle building success with the weeder course why only joe weeder mr america muscle building course can muscle muscle you up shape you up toughen you up fast in just seven short weeks and in the privacy of your own home that's that's cool never finish high school now you can get a diploma without going back Uh -huh. oh, since we're doing this live I just checked the chat Arnold Schwarzenegger did Hercules in 1969 awesome thank you always be making for the info finally checked out the chat after doing the reading nice nice fantastic read fantastic read I'm sorry we ended up with a sad story at the end but we did read all of it and this cover is absolutely beautiful and this is the cover to the last story which was a sad ending right so the tears are justified 
and he is walking away yeah. fantastic and a huge thank you for uh to brian for sending us this book plus a bunch of other romance comics from the silver and bronze age uh, for us to take a look at as a gift to us because he loves the comic book readings we're we're doing aside from that uh, gang i'm gonna go back to the chat and continue the live stream uh, if you're gonna end the video now we will be doing more of these live streams readings as time progresses we'll try to get a better camera so we can focus on the pages more easily okay and uh, i think doing these lives is a fantastic opportunity for us to uh, enjoy comic books even more than we have already okay uh, aside from that i'm going back to the chat hello chat hello chat how are you doing i'm going to turn chat back on I'm gonna turn the notifications on and we're gonna turn on the <laughs> hey gang lot to chat lot to chat awesome awesome Arnold was an old champion in muscle building that's why he was also chosen for the movie Conan yeah for sure the Conan movie that Arnold made was fantastic by the way that's one of the best comic book adaptations of uh, uh, movie uh, adaptations of a comic book really he did a fantastic job nice reading thanks james david sutton i wish i could have focused on the stuff better um was it okay was it focused enough for you guys to see what's going on evil hope Ooh, more terrifying stories <laughs> great was it great okay good so we'll continue we're gonna do another reading tomorrow as well right and we get to choose one of the other books and you guys get to choose it was great no problem at all okay awesome I'll always be making nice nice great read by the way loved it loved it I like this ha I like this Halloween theme is it a Halloween theme? I don't know. I don't know if it's a Halloween theme. As for tomorrow, <laughs> we'll do it. Take a little poll for now. But these are the four things we got available for tomorrow's reading, right? So keep these in mind. If you want any of these read tomorrow, you could go on Discord and try to get some support and get people to come here to vote for them. <laughs> All right we had overwhelmingly people wanted to read this right we had like i think four four votes for this one our love story number 16 yes in some parts i could see the see the grain of the paper nice nice i like that i like i like zooming into them right it gives it makes it so much more so much more fantastic read loved it and thank you again brian for sending us these books right great read one day when i have a lot of space i'm gonna scan this thing in and make a gigantic poster of it <laughs> awesome awesome how are we doing for time oh not bad we've been up for two hours right so it took two hours good timing good timing fantastic gang uh and i heard some notifications for subs and uh, follows i think anyway i don't know which ones they were uh so if you're still here thank you for the subs thank you for the follows um and again i'll post this again if you want to know what we're up to patreon is a good place to be right i share a lot of info there right and we are streaming this on twitch so if you want to cast these live you got to be on twitch right uh, and i do announce the streams 30 minutes beforehand on twitter gab mines vk and hello right and we're right now uploading these to BitChute and YouTube. Okay. And of course, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Flatten the curve, flatten the curve. Give your healthcare workers a break, right? They are overwhelmed and they want to stay safe. Okay, gang. A reading was my first Chicho experience. Was it Martin? Nice. Do you remember which comic? Which reading? Was it Carnage? No. 
I think that was Vex. He said Carnage was the first one. For some reason, the first appearance of Carnage, Amazing Spider-Man 361, and two and three. I think we did just 361 was the first experience of a lot of people uh, for uh, the, that are that have seen these comic books. Right. Let me take these down. So, gang, tomorrow. Two o'clock, we do another reading. One of these guys, right? And I'll be happy to look at the price, uh, the catalog as well, just to see what prices things were going at. But we had somebody that liked dinosaurs, so dinosaurs could be it. Venom Batman, nice. That's uh, uh, what do you call it? Legends of Dark Knight, the Venom story part one. Yeah, that was a fantastic read. Number, is it number six or number sixteen? I forget now. I think it's number six, six to ten what a, and that was a story that kicked into bane right that i love those those five reads though that's one of the greatest batman stories ever told in my opinion especially when it was struggling to lift up the rock when the water was rising trying to save the girl oof heart-wrenching heart-wrenching right amazing read amazing read batman legends of the dark knight is one of the greatest batman series ever highly highly underrated right do you read any modern comics for sure yeah we've read some modern comics we've read some valiant comics uh fall of bloodshot fall of harbinger have we read no we've read fall of harbinger i don't think we read fall of bloodshot uh, and we've read some other ones as well but i try not to read too many newer comics unless i really think they're uh, they're underrated they're not being read a lot uh, because they might be alternative or whatnot right uh, so we might do readings of newer comics as sort of a promo for the artists the the, the companies the independents the creators of the book right and the weird thing is i did one reading of a comic that i like an independent comic that i like and i've never gotten any copyright and notices any 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 creators contact me saying please don't do this because it's from love that i'm doing this but one independent publisher that we read from they actually contacted me and said you know i didn't do the right thing if i could take the video down or they demanded that i take the video down i was like dude like people have contacted me saying they love the comic they're buying the comic because we did the reading of it it's like a promo marketing and they said no this is if you only read a page it would have been okay you can't read the whole thing i said you have other comments and i stopped arguing with them when i took it down right which was really unfortunate and i won't buy anything from them again ever right and that was a uh, I was actually gonna buy their comics that was actually a comic book that uh, a friend of mine loaned out to me because I, I said oh this is a great comic book I've never heard about it you know I want to do a reading of it so expose it expose the comic to more people <laughs> and, uh, I won't read anything from them again I'm sorry uh, and I won't buy anything from them again and there were artists from Toronto and the writer was from New York and it was actually the artist from Toronto that contacted me uh, strangely I was looking for Batman the cult that night uh, in June 2016 really awesome we actually have Batman the cult lined up to read I just haven't read it yet with Wrightson right I think it's Wrightson I'm pretty sure it's Wrightson how old were you when uh, when you picked up your first comic oh i would have been a kid i would have been a kid like uh i put out a video if you do chicho tintin uh when we came here from iran the first com like i had i had a bunch of comics and there was only a limited number of things we could bring with us from iran because we were flying all around the world and i brought my tintin collection and uh because i read those multiple times when i was a kid and you and I was reading comics before I could read right I was looking at the picture so those tinting comics are from that period uh, and they were fantastic censoring you for censoring you for giving their comic free promotion makes so little sense it's practically a comic it's, it's ridiculous right see what I did there <laughs> okay see what you did there coolio yes please do this yeah I want to do the Batman uh, the cult after we did do these we're going to go back to reading set number four and start reading some of those comics 
I really want to read Batman the Cult. It's a fantastic series. Fantastic series. What is your favorite comic book adaptation, movie, or TV show? Um, we just saw Arnold Schwarzenegger in an advertisement here. Conan was fantastic from 1978. 78, 82, out of the late 70s. Conan, uh, Conan movie was really good. There's a few. There's a lot of them. A History of Violence is a fantastic movie and a fantastic comic book. The comic book is more brutal than the than the movie, but the movie I really liked as well, right? I liked The Watchmen. I thought The Watchmen was fantastic, really. I thought it was a great, uh, great movie. You know, it it doesn't matter that I won't give any spoilers, but it, anyone that doesn't like The Watchmen, is, the movie is being a little bit uh, un unrealistic, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> okay gang should we call the stream let's call the stream and uh we're going to do another comic book reading your choice these four one of these four uh tomorrow starting at 12 o'clock the first bane deacon blackfire deacon blackfire deacon blackfire vengeance of bane is the first appearance of bane what's deacon blackfire is that the name is that bane himself i forget martin the names the names deacon blackfire i don't know what deacon blackfire is have a fabulous day you guys as well chila chiha i don't know how good the comic is but the show preacher oh yeah preacher is fantastic made me seriously want to check out the yeah the comic book uh phenomenal right the series phenomenal and happy the TV series Happy was phenomenal, fantastic. They canceled it. <laughs> cult. Oh, Cult. Deacon Blackfire. Okay. I haven't read the cult since it first came out. Right? The leader. That's what it is. Uh, I got that. We got to do that reading. We got to do that reading. We got to do that reading, Martin. We will. We will. Let's get through these guys and then we do maybe. The next one after these is going to be the cult okay aside from that mods thank you for taking care of business thank you for the follows thank you for the subs okay gang and if you can make it tomorrow 2 p.m my time i'm off to save rules some more high rules some more one more question would you ever be interested in reading manga i do read manga i have read manga not as many as comic books but for sure uh, at some point I will read a manga book maybe uh, Tekken Tekken I'm not pronouncing that correctly the, oh, oh yeah one of the greatest adaptations of a comic book manga would be uh, black and white in English translation is called black and white and it's called Tekken Kikirin Chiha do you know which one I'm talking about if you do please post it in the in the chat so people know which one it is phenomenal manga phenomenal movie if you haven't seen that movie check it out it is uh, the first 10 minutes of the movie will blow you away the cinematography the the animation the panels the colors the the action sequences whoa do you remember seeing yeah that's exactly what it is Tekken King Kirit. Tekken King Kirit. Do you guys remember watching the first sequence in the Matrix when it showed the movie? It blew everyone away. My, this Tekken King Kirit is on the same level, if not more. Your jaw will be open. Okay, I won't say if not more, on the same level, right? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Okay. Good stream, Chicho. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow my pleasure dragons and dragons thank you very much for posting the name okay hope you guys have a fantastic day i'll see you guys tomorrow